Hello there, everybody. So we're back again with another episode today. We're going to cook something really special, a household, a household necessity, but uh, with a twist. We are going to cook today for you unagi fried rice. We've got some chili, some uh, spring onion right here. We've got garlic, some onion. We've got two eggs right here, as you can see. We've got edamame, which is soybeans, I think, and some uh, some mushroom. It uh, looks a bit weird, but uh, oh, fuck it, it will work. So, we chop up all these small, tiny things that will go in the fry. Actually, I could just break these up and uh, cut them like this. You don't have to be perfect, you know. Now, the garlic. We only need uh, two cloves of garlic. So when you cut the garlic, it doesn't have to be nice. You can, cut, you can cut them in chunks, slices, whatever the fuck you want. Okay. Get that fuck out of here. Now we're going to chop the onion and see what's inside. Hopefully it won't make me cry. Fucking onions. You can use half an onion. That's what I'm using because we're going to cook just about one and a half or two servings. Depends on how much you can consume. Oh, fuck this onion. All right, we're done. Let's go home. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So right now, we are going to Turn on the fire and cook the sauce for the fried rice. So I'm going to cook a sauce that is kind of like a teppanyaki or a teriyaki sauce. But it just consists of uh, soy and honey. Very simple. You don't need to do crazy things. I've got some soy sauce in here. I think it's light soy sauce. I'm going to pour all of it in here. As you can see, it's not a lot. Yes, use any honey of your choice. Oh, sweet aroma is already rising. Let's just put about a teaspoon's worth of honey because you don't want it to be too sweet, eh? As it's sizzling away, so gentle. And you would like to put it on a rather low heat, just for it to thicken up and, uh, you know, simmer a little. You don't burn this because it will taste nasty. Bitterness is not your friend. You can see it bubbling away. You can smell honey in the air. You can smell the dark notes of the soy sauce. That's off the fire and have a taste. Mm. Perfect. <laughs> ah. Now we put it back in here so we can use it later. Hopefully this won't spill. Oh, jolly good. Now we're going to start cooking the rice. We don't have to clean the pan because we're going to use it again. So the first thing you do is uh, turn it on again. Low heat. We've got some oil in here. Don't put too much, probably quarters, quarter of a cup maybe. Now, the first thing we do, we do, first things first, the egg. So what we do with the egg is, we cook, partially cook it. Because you, you couldn't cook fried rice. We're going to cook this egg first, put it separate in a separate bowl again and recook it later with the rice. So until you can see, it's almost, not really, but almost, sort of like a scramble, if you ask me. It's good to go. So put it in a separate place for later. Then now, we add in some more oil. This time, a little bit more. Probably 
three tablespoons, four. And you'll, all the, all the things that we've cut earlier, the onion, garlic, chili, spring onion, put it in. All of it. And let them mix. Jolly, jolly, ho, ho, he, he, ha, ha. Oh, I can't do that shit. Fuck it. <laughs> now I would like to put some pepper. Oh, sorry, salt. And some pepper. This is just initial seasoning before we put in the rice. I can't believe that I'm cooking outside my house. The front door, this is over there. Crazy. <laughs> and now we turn the heat to an optimum low setting. Oh, I turned it off. How dumb. While this is cooking and simmering away, we shall be chopping this baby up. The unagi. Star of the show. If this was a woman, she would be my wife. Anyway, this has already been cooked, by the way, when you buy it in store. So you just want to cut probably cubes, maybe, a, I don't know, half an inch. So all of this beautiful, sexy things, all of it go inside here. At one point, when you put in the rice, it will start to flake. <laughs> My hands are fucked, it's all right. I'm going to use half of these oyster, king oyster mushrooms. Let's chuck it in there, chuck it in, chuck it in, you know, chuck it in. Why I, 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 why I chose to put mushrooms in there is because not only does it impart some flavor, but for texture, it's pretty good as well. It will soak up a lot of the uh, sauce. Life is all about food. Wake up, you eat. Before you sleep, you eat. Throughout the day, you eat. Perfect. So as you can see, mushrooms cook fairly fast or fairly quick when the heat is pretty high. So you can smell now, when you cook the unagi, the fats shall melt and cover all these beautiful mushrooms. Uh, I wish you all could smell this. The rice has been in, has been the fridge overnight, because that's the best kind of rice you want to cook with. Oh, it's cold. A block, a lump of rice. <laughs> so now, the rice has been added to the uh, unagi and uh, condiment mixture. We could add a little bit more oil at the side so it doesn't stick. And we can lift it up from the fire so it doesn't burn. At this point, it is almost done. Right, then we shall introduce some of the sauce we cooked earlier. The honey soy sauce. Show you, or something. Don't put it too much because it's salty and sweet. Yes, that's about it. At the same time, we can introduce the edamame. So these little small tiny flows, they impart nothing except texture. We shall reintroduce the egg. Your fried rice is almost done. Let's try this. Wow. It definitely tastes everything inside here. Finally, we shall scoop this rice back into another bowl. Put the rice in the bowl here. 
to a new ball with some furikake. Furikake is a topping that Japanese, yes, I know, Japanese people use for their rice. This ball is hot. Anything for you guys. Thank you for watching the show. And we'll be back for more episodes, cooking things in some sort, so something. Have a good day.